Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys one of my last games going up against Cloning Conk. So what is Cloning Conk? It is a spell that doubles a Murloc in your hand. It used to be any Murloc and now is the non-golden Murloc. What a surprise! It turns out that's still really overpowered, so Blizzard basically removed it from the game, right as Murlocs were actually starting to have slightly higher rates of ending up in first place than Banana Slamma builds. Well, that is just unacceptable. We can't have that. So they deleted the card from the game. I also want to point out that after they did that, I'm not even sure if a week went by, but they now also nerfed the Bream counter, which is the hand Murloc that scales. It's now scaling at plus two, plus two for each. Mur so it's kind of crazy because I really doubt there were that many like logs and stats collected in like less than a week period to see how Murlocs performed. But it seems like, uh, you know, the beast builds, they really lost a few too many rounds. So Murlocs are just destined to be eighth place. But while it's frustrating that beasts seem to escape any kind of nerf that they absolutely deserve after dominating battlegrounds for the greater part of a year. I do kind of have to agree a little bit with Blizzard on specifically removing the spell uh, because it was getting a little bit out of hand and it's just not really fun. It's not fun to like roll and try to go for a very specific spell. It's not like rolling for a build type where you're competing for share card pools where when you roll you get like five minions or six minions you're given options you have to make meaningful decisions if you're hunting down like one specific spell to almost double the power of your board in some cases with the clone and conch when it was actually in the game well that's just a horrible experience because you can roll 10 times and not see that one specific spell or someone can roll once see the spell roll once again see the spell again roll once again see the spell again and then they can't really lose that lobby anymore. So that's just ridiculous in my mind. And well, I do hope to see a few nerfs with beasts or honestly just completely redesign them at this point. Well, I am kind of glad that we don't have to play against copied murlocs anymore. Enjoy. If we're against the FK, that's fine. Your forces are no match for the Guardians. Game set and match. That was that's not a bad. good play. I know just the spell for this encounter. Nah, no last thing for today. I made that Lich character, but I don't really think it's going to be that much fun to play. It's pretty annoying having to do, like, damage with a two-button press, and then one of those buttons has cooldowns. Not like a major cooldown, but... Gotta build up a yeah. Team somehow. I think it's a good build. It's just... I'm not so keen on actually playing it. Golden team! Your forces are no match for the Guardians. <laughs> Game set and match. Winning build is probably Big Demon or Murlocs. So yeah, big thing's gonna be leveling, I suppose. It's just a little sad. I should do that. Do it. Let's do this. Maybe Gotta we'll get the um, E3 dragon. Time to teach you a thing or two about magic. Game 
set and match. You can get away with this. You're at the top of the board. Not doing a very good job getting my attack up. Good pick. Yeah, that wasn't great either. I'll never forget my first tournament. In the name of magic, I will punish you. Wow. Oh, it's got the prompt, right? Maybe I don't give Galakron enough credit. I feel like every time I've played Galakron in the past, I never get any good T6s, but... I guess there's a lot of good T6s now, huh? Maybe so. How's the game going? The dragon. Um, I think I'm gonna try this. Keep that. That one's a rookie. I don't know about any of those. I think I'm going to I not lose that many. I did say demons have a chance, but I don't know if I'm really there yet. Case. Good. Yeah, those aren't bad, but they're just not great. A pretty good spot. Turn nine, full health, T6. Let's go. Good luck, MVP. Oh, <laughs> now that's a hit. 
That might be a run ender for our boy Galatron here. That's tough luck, bro. It's like pretty small chance for me to kill him. But with that first hit, it's it's damn near 100%. Recruit some champions. Right. It's gonna be a lot of fives and sixes. So it might be good. It's not. Poppy a Merlock. That guy, that guy did have a few cards that were good. The odds are in my favor. I have witnessed the true end time. <sighs> a melody of love. <laughs> You're I know there's a triple on my hand, I just don't want it because it sucks. Dude, that snipe wing is, is giving some big bangers here. is on my side. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. Yeah, you don't like my plays? I got no room for those Murloc dragons. <laughs> the only thing I have room for is old Mur oh sorry, young Murkai, which we have rolled out the red carpet for. Wait, you guys said it's a shared card pool with spells. How the hell could that be? <laughs> what? He has one in his hand, like, just in case. Oh my god. Normally I don't, but in this case, yeah. 
fate of the world hangs in the balance. That is a bit of an oof. What secrets will uncover? Important job gets special bomb. Oh, we'll drag over the Naga. You have to sell both of them, I think. Hey. How'd I kill that guy? Didn't I kill that guy? Oh no, I killed Galatron. Had almost the same board. Oh, well, I guess I'm killing this guy, too. For the guardians of Azeroth. Okay. that one. Here's a gold. Some ways. I wouldn't be caught dead. So anyway, I started blasting. The odds are in my There face. she blows. So anyway, I started blasting. There she blows. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, there. You're at the top of the board. Dodge Silver try to work against boss abilities. Sometimes it works, sometimes no work. That's how it works. It's a surprise. Don't play hardcore. A valorous attempt. Yeah, I think we're gonna struggle to have any chance against the Murloc player, though. And the crowd goes wild. Good play. Here's your coin. That one's a rookie. You ought to fill out your team. I guess this is worth it, right? Oh no, it's not. It's three gold to trigger three gold. Get another card for free. Gotta trade them out now and then.
hoping for like mad to win, but I'm just gonna have to hope that I don't die. Ah, we're dead. What's the trick to finding these? I've literally been holding two the whole game. I played this guy three turns ago. He gained 800 in stats from Pan since that time. What happened? Did, did he find like three of these or something? I just, I just don't understand. I, I think the only possible solution is that the card pool for spells is actually not shared. Because otherwise it doesn't make any sense. I think it's not shared. I was holding two the whole game and that guy gained 800 stats in three turns. I played him three turns earlier. The spells are shared in the shop, but not in hands. Cloning isn't how you make stats. You swap them to tavern and then double lock in hand. I mean, I guess, but again, that guy had no spell generation at all. So he's just like getting these rolling, I guess. Yeah, if you have a high econ strat, maybe.